The time has come for the nature boy Rip Flair to put his career on the line. It was a retirement match for my dad between him and Shawn Michaels. And there is Ric Flair's family right here at ringside. That was like such an overwhelming, positive feeling. Like, look at this organization that he's a part of, and it seems like such a big, happy family. Your great lips. I'm sorry. I love you. The emotion and the respect, the feeling of the audience and the passion. Over 70,000 fans paying their respects to the greatest to ever lace a pair of boots. And then seeing my dad emotional, I was like, oh, this is so cool, this is amazing. Like, I want to be a part of this, but like, in what capacity? I don't know. What are your thoughts on becoming a diva? Um, it's definitely crossed my mind. I would like to finish school first, and I hope the opportunity is still there when I'm done. I think it would be fun if I said, Dad, I want to try to take on a role somewhere in WWE. I think he would support me and be my biggest fan. I knew I had to graduate because that's what you do. You go to college and you graduate, right? And it's like, well, what do I do? <laughs> I moved back home. I was working as a personal trainer for a couple years. And then we went to Miami for the Four Horsemen Hall of Fame induction. It was like, I think, the first time that me, Rita, and my dad had like gone and done something in a really long time. Ashley, one more time, baby. Stand up, Reed. Come on, buddy. Reed's goal was to be in the WWE. We were at dinner at the hotel, and he was like, we can do this together. You've got to do this. So I was like, OK. I said, oh, God, please, no, Dad, I want to wrestle. I can do it. I know I can. That was it. And that was in uh, April and July. She was in Tampa. WWE Legends, new episode Sunday at 8, part of WWE Superstar Sunday on A&E. And watch next day on the A&E app. See, there's a price you pay for being a wrestler. This was not supposed to happen. Whoa.